Hello, I am pleased to welcome the sixth and last RN5 launch of the year with on board two passengers, the Sat11 for ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, and Geocomsat 2A, also called GK2A or Cheolian 2A in South Korea, for the CARI, the Korean Aerospace Research Institute. Hello everyone, the Geocomsat 2 is a national program of the Korean government to develop and operate two civilian geo satellite Geocomsat 2A and GK2B. Recently, the rapid weather change such as torrential rain and fine dust is frequently appearing on the Korean Peninsula. Therefore, the advanced payload with enhanced measurement cycle and higher resolution was needed to observe weather changes. The Gateway satellite will be fully dedicated for meteorological and space weather monitoring missions with on board two important payloads, IMI, the Advanced Meteorological Imager, and KACM, the Korean Space Environment Monitor. The GK2A satellite originally developed by Kerry, South Korea, will be stationed at the 128.2 degree east orbital location for a 10 years mission ride. This IN5 flight VA246 will lift off from Kourou at exactly 8.37 pm local time UTC with a comfortable launch window of 1 hour and 16 minutes. The targeted injection orbit is a GTO1 with an optimized inclination of 3.5 degrees. Separation of GK2A satellite will occur exactly after a bit less than 34 minutes of flight. The solar array of GK2A will be fully deployed the next one hour after it separates from the launch vehicle. After that, the GK2A satellite will move to the 128.2 east degree through the transfer orbit. Thank you. I would like to thank all the teams that have been involved in this program. First, of course, our customer carry which always relied on INS Pass with a dedicated, very efficient teamwork all along the program. Constructive approaches and optimization have always been shared between the project teams. This was really a key driver to conduct a smooth and efficient launch campaign. I wish a long life to GK2A.